So last time we touched base with this 11 rack unit, we were testing it out to see how we can utilize it for live use um, and bypassing its internal cab simulator and adding our own to it. And it worked out an absolute charm. So I thought let's take it a little bit of a further step and let's add an enhancing pedal to it. See how that sounds? Hopefully that's all focused in. Uh, so I have the Stonegate uh, Messenger Boost uh, pedal, which is really great. So um, got my Onsby guitar here, tuned to drop G, which is heaps of fun. And so I've got that going into the boost, the boost going into the 11 rack with the cabs turned off. That coming out into my GPA 100, which is uh, like a stage uh, power amp. And that going into my vintage 30s with the SM57 mic. Pretty straightforward. And, uh, so let's turn this on first and get us uh, some levels. As an example of what the patch sounds like as it is right now, that's it. Pretty cool, pretty rad. So now let's engage the boost pedal, and anyone paying attention at home, I did miss a note there. That's all right, because we are here for the tones, not to judge my, you know, just doodling around on the guitar. So I've got three different settings here, a left, a middle, and a right. I can't remember what they are. So let's find out together. So firstly, we'll go off. So now to the far left. Ooh. Okay, let's try the middle. That's got the quack, the good quack. That seems to have a mixture of both. So. That's got a weird scoop in it, doesn't it? I feel like that setting there kind of muddies it up a bit. It's hard to say if it does money it more or because it does clear, clear up a couple of the frequencies, but um, I think just putting it straight back to back from this setting here in the middle, it's easy to think that. That to me is my favorite. I'm getting super fussy and changing picks because that is just losing a little bit of grip and getting a bit slippy.
go back to the first one. So that one definitely muddies it up more, having it to the far uh, left. Compared to the far right. Yeah, but the middle is, as I said before, the middle is definitely my favorite. Get some pretty cool Fear Factory stuff happening with that. Some of their modern stuff. Um, so let's leave it there for a bit. And let's do it for a bit. It's going to be for a second. Because it's jam time. So I don't know the best way to approach it. Let's, let's just do four jams. One with it off. One with the three different settings. And we'll see how they sound in a band mix. Uh, mixing it up, doubling up on the two different guitars. Uh, adding some bass and drums. And seeing how that goes. So sit back. Relax and enjoy, and I'll have a chat about it on the other side. And there we have the four different jams with the uh, Stonegate Messenger pedal, which is pretty cool. I really like this boost pedal. Uh, the three different settings it have on it are pretty extreme, which I also like too, because the more variation, uh, the better. Now the question is, well firstly, which one did you enjoy the most? Which one resonated and stand out for you? Because I think they could all be utilized in different ways. I think the only one that I'll be leaning against would be the one when it goes to the far right. Left, sorry, the far left. Because I think that just makes it a little bit too muffly with lower tuning. It might be decent with like, drop C or standard tuning, but in drop G that I was using today, it's a little bit too much maybe. But in saying that, a little bit too much, is on the middle setting, which I found to be the favorite, where it was super snappy and super tight. Um, you might argue to say it's a little bit too much a little bit too um, overflowing with that type of genty goodness. Uh, where the far right one you might think is a perfect balance. Not sure. 
Super keen to hear your thoughts on it though, because as I said, I think they all work. Um, bar the one far left, I think that's the one that's most in question. Uh, really well, it just depends on which one you prefer and which one you think fits best in the mix. Uh, so definitely keen for your thoughts. Thank you very much for joining this video. It was lots of fun putting together and just having heaps of jams really and having some fun. And I thoroughly look forward to chatting with you next time. And until then, stay safe.